Hey, what's up, guys? Um, so today is kind of a shitty ass day. When I say shitty, I mean super shitty. Um, so I woke up. I was about to go to work, you know, and someone actually tried to break into my car and steal it. Luckily, thank God, um, nothing was stolen at all. There was nothing stolen, but they did fuck up my whole ignition. They broke something in inside of it, another key or something, and so I had to. I'm at AutoZone like right now. And I want to go buy the whole new ignition and everything. And so we're going to be learning how to do that today. I've never done that. So we're going to be doing that. But yeah. Um, so, now, uh, so, so what kind of happened, you know? Um, I just went downstairs, you know, had my keys ready to go to work. And when I started walking towards my car, some dude just started booking it. And I was like, what the fuck? Um, so I just ran to my car. And the wipers were on, so was my radio, and my battery was dead. So it looked like he'd been trying to start it for a while, but your boy, I'm the only one that knows how to start it. So it's not a kill switch, not anything like that, but I'm the only one that knows how to start that motherfucker. But anyways, um, so yeah, so it's kind of shitty way to start, but on some better side of the news, that ain't gonna let us like that's not gonna stop me that's not gonna you know get me down and you know it's a shitty situation but i'm just gonna keep moving forward um i'm just gonna start looking to another uh alarm for the civic and yeah um i took my steering wheel off so there's no way he could have drove it but yeah that's why i don't really like to vlog at my new place anymore that's why i always anything work related would have to be at my sister's house you know so that's why i don't really like vlogging at my house because that's why you know people know where i'm at but enough of my talking we did go get the whole ignition setup thing and i did get something great for the ek that i'm going to be replacing and i'm super excited to show you guys so let's head to the house let's go yo guys so this is basically what happened as you can see my key the ignition it's turned to the one I can't even put the key all the way in at all. It turns and stuff, but my, like I said, my battery's dead. Basically, they broke something inside here to get it stuck. Either broke a key, they tried to just jam in there or whatever. And fucking... So now everything's dead. My radio was on and my wipers were on basically for who knows how long they were trying to do it, an hour or so. But like I said, I'm the only one that knows how to start this car, so... When I have to take it to places, I kind of got to explain how to start it. Because, like, kind of a kill switch, kind of not. So, yeah. But what we're going to be doing right now is actually changing something out. Um, what I said that we did buy um, that I was really happy to share with you guys. So, I'm just waiting for Johnny to come. And I'll show you guys what we did. And I'm actually going to have to be installing this at my place. Which I kind of don't want to. But I'll try to get the best footage I can without, you know, you know, you know, showing my addresses and stuff. So let's do this. So journey's taking a little bit, so I'll just show you guys what I cop. So a some raceline coils so I can stop being on eBay coils. So actually what I'm doing right now is just taking the wheel off. And yeah, so I'll just take this apart and I'll show you guys how to replace or change out your suspension, coils, stock springs and stuff. So let's go. So to change out a coil is super duper easy. Change out your suspension. So what I'm gonna do first is actually loosen this up because this is, I believe this is called the fork. So I'm gonna loosen this out so I can pull on top. And then on top is two screws. So let me figure out what size of uh, lug, not lug nut. Um, let me see what size this is so I can take this off. So we did get that loosened. This is actually a 14. So you don't need to take it all the way out, just loosen it enough. And we're gonna unbolt those. I believe they are 10s, so just two 10s. So let's pull those out. I actually lied to you guys, they're actually 17s, which is pretty crazy because on my EG they were 10 or 12. So these ones are actually a lot bigger, but that's okay. So I'm gonna take these off. I just loosened the two and then we're gonna pull it down. So actually what else I had to do was actually take out the bolt down here that connects the fork. And they were just both 17s, both sides. So I just took that out and 
Now I am free just to pull that out. So let's pull that out. Okay guys, so we reassembled the other side. Um, so I'm putting in the other side. I just got this out of the fork and I just need to do it out the top. They're actually 14s. And so, yeah. So I'll show you kind of how to reassemble it more detail on this one. The back ones are way easier than the front to be honest. So let's do this. Okay guys, um, so I'll explain what I did. So basically I just took down this and loosened this. So if you really want to loosen this bolt first it's a 14 and then down here is a 17 so you want to loosen the that one first and then this one and then you kind of just slide it down to get the coil off and then you tie untighten the two top and then to put it back is exactly the opposite so you tighten the two up and then i first put in this and then i just snug this one in and i just kind of use it use the jack to lift this up i'm gonna have to sand these down pretty soon but i'm actually gonna go with slotted rotors so it's not that big of a deal but so i kind of i just kind of count the lines to be the same size as the other side so i'm just gonna put my wheel back on and let's see how it looks okay so we're on the back and i said it was gonna be a lot easier but i didn't really kind of think it through um, so it, it, it is going to be easier. It's just, uh, one of my seats on the side, it doesn't fully, um, go down because it's locked because the thing broke, you know, to set the back seat down. But here, I'll show you what I'm going to look like. So the coil is down there and the extension I have is too short. So I'm going to have to go wait for someone to bring me an extension or go buy one. It's just down there to take off this coil. So, yeah, um, once I get that extension, I'll see you guys in a bit. Hey, what's up, guys? So, it's the next morning. Um, we just got to do the back ones now. Um, it should be really simple. I just kind of took apart my thing. So, because it would have been too hard, I don't have enough extensions to do it. So, just had to take this apart really easy really simple so i'm actually going to start by jacking up the car and just taking out the one bolt down there so let's go okay guys so we are going to be taking off this bolt i believe it's a 17 or a 14 let's actually see yep it's gonna actually be a 14 so let me grab a 14 and we're gonna take this one off um this is the only one you have to take off from the back so let's take it off Yo guys, um, so I actually ran into a problem. There is problem. <laughs> so I didn't put it on the back coils yet because the bushings on my lower control arms in the back are totally fucked. They're super loose. I can literally move the coils side to side. That's how bad it is. And the, the bolt that's in it won't come out even if I bang into it. And I'm not trying to fuck it up. I need to drive it for, you know, get to work and stuff. But yeah, so that's gonna have to actually have to wait. So yeah, so I will be installing new lower control arms in the next video. I already ordered them. They should be here by next week. So in the meantime, I'll just get like some cinematics of the meats and stuff like that. Um, there is one today, today is Sunday. So the garage meet will be today. And yeah, but so, not this video, but the next couple videos, you know, I'm gonna start throwing in some keywords. So my eBay coils, instead of selling them, I'm actually just gonna do kind of like a giveaway type thing. So if you're interested, I'm gonna do three code words and you can e or message me those three code words on my Insta. I'll put my Insta like right here. <laughs> yeah, so I'm gonna be doing that. Three code words, three videos, and I'm just gonna give them away. I'll send them to you. If you're in Utah, I'll definitely just go deliver them or we can meet up and I could just give you them. Um, like I said, none of them are blown. I just obviously um, upgraded to Racelands, so better quality other than eBay. So yeah, so three code words, three videos, a drawing to win. Super easy, who wouldn't want some free coils? Plus they're not blown, they're just eBay. <laughs> but yeah, but uh, make sure to subscribe as well. And yeah, so I'll see you guys next time. Thank you so much for watching this video.